Hey everybody, it's Farmer Mike here, and it is the last day of deliveries, uh, 2017. Today is the 16th of November, so I just misplaced my selfie stick, and I've been running around looking for it, so you'll have to bear with me while I use my hand here to uh, direct this little film. Um, so I just wanted to touch base and thank everybody for what I think was a good year actually I think we we actually pulled it off it was uh, kind of a rough start there with the spring and uh, cold temperatures stunted seedlings it was uh, it was another interesting year that's for sure but then I think we came to the summer pretty nice there with some beautiful tomatoes and uh, summer crops and then the fall turned out to be I thought was one of the best falls we've ever had well with the carrots and broccoli and everything that came in uh, and of course all the greens um, and potatoes and whatnot so it's uh, it's been a good finish I think to uh, to a crazy start to a year and, and you know we worked really hard up here to try to uh, make sure everything came through the way it was supposed to so now that uh, CSA is ending um, I'll be able to catch up on all this you can see there's a lot of work to do here in the greenhouse there's a lot of these plants have got to get planted next door in the high tunnel and we've already started that process here a couple of days ago finally took the tomatoes out we just harvested 14 cases of tomatoes they weren't really ready for CSA so they're ripening up right now down in the barn and uh, they'll be moved out to the farmers market and uh, and down to the uh, restaurant nearby there's a restaurant right around the corner that buys a lot of produce from us but uh, pretty incredible that the tomatoes were still going up until the second week of November so I was uh, pretty happy about that um, as you know, next year there'll be some changes again. We're going to scale back the CSA even more and bring it uh, and change how it works too. And I think that may lead to an increase in the CSA again, but it'll be uh, it'll be a little different. And I think it's going to be better for us and better for you guys uh, on the on the end of the CSA. So what will happen is is instead of uh, us packing boxes and custom orders and everything back here at the farm, what we'll do is we'll bring down. Um, a certain number of items it'll be more than what you will have in your box but then you'll make your choices there at the drop point so in other words uh, let's just say an average box gets eight items so we'll probably bring down anything from 10 to 12 items down uh, they'll be in cases so they'll be like a case of radishes a case of kale uh, a case of tomatoes whatever and then there'll be instructions there for each one on what you sh what you should take that week um, Maybe you don't need radishes that week and you'd like to have extra tomatoes or maybe you don't want tomatoes and you want extra kale. So you'll be able to have that option to swap out. And then, um, you know, so that's the way that'll work. And I think it's going to be a lot better because for us, it's a lot of work to try to uh, bring the produce in from the fields and then repack it. It's a lot of logistics. Um, but next year, there will just be two drop points. And that, that will be um, here at the farm. And again, uh, over at Mount Pleasant, uh, right around the corner, it'll be the same drop point that it is now. Uh, so it'll be the same drop point. The, we were gonna do it at the market, but then I got talking to the host there, Elizabeth, and you know we came up with the idea of why not do it at her house, and then we can have is you'll have a bigger window to come pick up your produce on Saturdays, so you wouldn't be limited just to the hours of the market, because not not everybody can make it to the market. Um, so that's that's what'll happen next year. And uh, I hope that uh, a lot of you will sign up soon. I'm going to set up a new system. We're getting away from this old system that we that gave us so many headaches this year, and uh, it'll be much more straightforward again because you won't have to log in every week and make an order. Uh, they'll just we're just going to grow the heck out of the farm, you know, grow as much produce as we can, sort of like the old CSA, the way it's supposed to be, uh, the way it was set up originally. And then, uh, like I said, you'll have choices at the drop point each week. We'll give you, we'll still send out newsletters and, and give you a, a heads up about what's coming in and everything. So that'll be uh, that information will be out there for you. So you at least you know what's at least you know what's coming and what your choices will be. Um, we are done taking orders for turkeys now, and so I will deliver the the, the Pennsylvania turkeys. Will be farm pickup here at the farm. They'll be in the walk-in cooler starting tomorrow uh, the turkeys are being processed as we speak and uh, so uh, that'll be those will be ready for you to pick up uh, for Pennsylvania and then DC I'll be bringing those down on Monday or Tuesday I think I was thinking Tuesday originally but I may push that to Monday 
Um, and I'll reach out to all of you who bought the turkeys. There's about 15 or 20 of you who bought turkeys there. And uh, anybody who wants a late order, uh, email me. There's a chance that we might be able to pull off a couple extra here and there. Depends on what the, the two farms that we're working with, what, they, what they're actually doing. Um, going ahead into the fall, we're still going to be at the Mount Pleasant Farmer's Market until, uh, until Christmas time. So you guys will still be able to buy produce from us. And then between uh, Christmas and New Year's, and maybe even going into January, we're going to be offering a couple different uh, times there where you'll be able to order, order fresh meat. Um, we'll have uh, pig, uh, pork, halves or holes, uh, beef. You can buy a whole beef or a half or a quarter of beef. A uh, quarter is the most popular. Um, and if you're ordering an entire an entire animal, that's a, that's a lot of meat. You better have the freezer space for it. Even for a quarter, it's quite a bit of meat. Uh, it turns out for a quarter of beef, turns out to be usually be about 120 to 130 pounds of actual meat that you get. And there's ground beef in there, uh, steaks, and different cuts. And each, everything is individually wrapped. The ground beef is individually wrapped uh, by the pound. Uh, and then as far as the pork goes, there'll be sausage, there'll be bacon. And then again, all the cuts, pork chops and whatnot. Um, they'll be uh, individually wrapped, uh, vacuum sealed. And it's done very well, uh, we're very happy. And then we're very happy with those farms. Uh, then also we'll have lamb, uh, taking lamb orders here, and lamb orders um, can start any time, we'll, we'll, we'll deliver those at, uh, during that time also. And so, um, again, the details of delivery, we'll work that out. I think after the turkeys here next week, we'll figure out a way to do it so everybody has a, uh, has a, uh, you know, a good way to pick it up. Some of it might be home delivery, and some of you, if you're if you're clustered in the same neighborhood, I may just show up somewhere in your neighborhood, and then park it, and you come pick up during a certain hour. Okay, we'll do it probably that way. You know, during the after hours of work or whatever. It depends on what your situation is. Because we're heading into winter and it's cold, it'll be easier to keep it keep it all frozen, because um, it will come down frozen. Um, so keep an eye out for that, and then of course we'll have chickens too. Um, you guys can buy whole chickens, and we'll work with some farms to to do just bacon and chicken orders and things like that sausage orders too from like North Mountain Pastures or or a couple other farms that we work with there also um, I think that's it I, I again I've always encouraged uh, everybody to come up to the farm and visit us so you can see how things are uh, how we do things up here I'll give you a farm tour we're gonna be scaling operations back next year um, I am taking a class right now an online class about how to be more efficient and how to follow my own instructions better, uh, which is exciting because there's a, there's a couple of farms out there now who are really doing well on less acreage. And so we are going to be spending a lot of time, it's supposed to be gonna be my father-in-law and I next year, and we're going to um, be really focused on tightening things up around here and getting things more organized. And so that's great. It's just been, it's been a really crazy rush the last eight years. Uh, we saw, pretty unbelievable growth um, starting in 2010 we started off with 95 members and then the following year the second year in 11 we jumped to like 225 and then it just it almost doubled for four years up up until we hit uh, 650 members in 2014 and it was just it's just crazy it's just this constant expansion I didn't um, take the time to tighten up systems so that's what we're gonna do now we're just gonna uh, bring it all back together here uh, I really want to spend more time with my family, even though I, we all live here on the farm. I don't see the, I don't get to really help uh, help out raising the kids too much between May and October, and it turns into uh, you know it's just a circus with me running around. Uh, so we're just going to try to tighten up systems here and make that all happen. And uh, I have an opportunity to do that now, so I'm going to uh, take advantage of that. But uh, work shares will still be a part of the farm. Uh, we've had a great group. This year has been an unbelievable group of uh, work shares. Uh, people still coming out even now in the cold. Um, we finally built uh, the fall project here. We had um, uh, we built an insulated room inside the barn, and so we're able to retreat to that uh, retreat retreat to there. Um, and then, you know, we can <coughs> actually do work in there, sort produce, weigh produce, etc. So. Anyway, I encourage you to come on up and, and take a visit. I'll give you a farm tour. You can meet Bob the Llama, see the chickens, and uh, check out the spring and the greenhouses and everything that's going on here at the farm. But thanks, everybody. It's been a, a great season, and uh, I hope you all will stay in touch.